Okay, good morning everyone and welcome to our episode 3 of our online class. Uh, today is my birthday so I hope everyone will participate and everyone will be good boys and good girls. We have the same birthday as Miss Fai, Miss Monha. So I am expecting everyone to participate in today's activity. We have a short review, just a very short review, uh, especially for those who were not able to join the live during the first and second episode. The first was before the new year break and the second was after the new year break and Tisha Joe is with, with me today uh, this session and he will be helping me in recording this course because we have S1 additional points for S1 which is speaking number one and Tisha Joe will be telling me who got the correct answer for those who are not in this live session today you can still comment down your answers under the video once this video is uploaded in the M2 Matium 2 channel okay okay without so much ado let us proceed to our short review please listen very well participate because we will be having our first exam today listening test 10 points 10 points reading test 10 points and writing test 10 points Tisha Joe how many viewers do we have at the moment uh, the viewers how many participants we have at the moment uh, 33 3 3 73 7 3 Probably said happy birthday Who? <laughs> okay, thank you so much for the greetings We have 73 students So let's proceed to our short review Just for about 10 minutes Okay, our topic was about force and motion And we learned that a force is a push and pull of an object When you say push it is like making an object away from you, pushing something. Example, you need to push a friend, but it's not good. Nah? Example, you need to push the table so you can pass by going outside the room. Or example, you need to push um, something so you can, you can do a work. You need to push the table so you can clean what is under that table. And the other one is a pull. Pulling an object is making an object closer to you, not closer to you. Example, you will pull the table so you can sit and do your homework. You will pull the door so you can enter your bedroom. It is a pull and push of an object like this. The horse is pulling the cart carriage so he can move forward. This boy is pushing the ball against him. These are minions. Minions are boys or girls? Tisha Joe. Minions are boys or girls? Uh, boys. <laughs> They're boys. Yeah. I'm not sure. I really did not yeah. watch the movie. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> for whatever they are, whatever the gender of these uh, creatures, they are pushing the ball again, uh, out, away from them. So it is like a pushing of something. We cannot see or touch a force, but we can see the effect. Example, the effect here is the, the carriage move from one place to another and the ball can move from one place to another. Let's continue. A force can make an object which is stationary to move. Stationary means object that is at rest, not moving. Example, this ball, when you kick this ball, it will move. So it can make a stationary object move. Another one. Force can speed up, slow down, or stop a moving object. Like this car, you can control. This one, you can speed up, you can slow down, and you can stop this moving object. This is because of the effect of the force. Number three, force can change the direction of a moving object. As you can see here, what we call this thing that is moving. It means a moving object. You can change the direction. These people are playing badminton. Uh, can you still remember the name of this object that is being hit by the rocket? Uh, there are two words. Start with letter S and the second word start with letter C. Okay. Can you still remember? Tisha Joe is uh, going to give me those people who can still remember. Yes, okay. Again, the force can change the direction of this thing, like this one. When you hit going to the left, to the right, to the to drop closer to the net or to hit a little bit far but not outside the line. Are there answers, Tisha Joe? Uh, not yet. 
Teacher Sam. Again, okay. what is the name of this thing that is moving? And we can change the direction with the force coming from our hand. Therapot from room 6, number 24, said that shuttlecock. Shuttlecock, you are yes. correct. Congratulations. This spelling is correct, na? Therapot number 24. Shuttlecock is the name of this. We can change the direction. Even when you play football, you can change the direction of the ball going to the goal or maybe going to your uh, teammate but not to your opponent. So you will win the game. Number four, it can change the shape of, a, of an object like this one, crushing a can, a tin can, tin, tin can. This is a, a soft drinks can and you can crush this with a force coming from your hand. Any other example? of changing the shape of an object with the use of the force okay okay who can tell me example of this um Tanida from room three uh-huh she said squeeze squeezing what squeezing another example uh -huh. yeah squeezing what no ball what to do with the ball you have to tell me the verb yes. like crushing using your hand crushing a can of soft drinks squeezing what okay Okay. You have to give me a complete answer to okay. get two points. I think we have a the complete answer from Tirapan again. Uh -huh. Bending a ruler. Bending a ruler, yes. If it is a if it is a metallic ruler, you can change the shape. Excellent job, Tirapat. But Anoj and Tanida would also get yes. one and one point respectively. There are two types of forces. The first one is a contact. Contact, it means they touch each other. There must be two, so they will touch each other. These contact forces are called, are, are called friction. Like this one, there is a friction between the table and the phone. If the friction, friction is less, and then the phone will just slide down very quickly. But if the friction is not that less, is, is the, if the friction is much, and then it will slide down a little bit slower. Ah, just like this, the friction is between the shoes, not your feet. Because the feet is not touching the ground. But still, there is a friction between your feet and the sole of your shoes. And your shoes has a friction with the ground. They are in contact. The second one is non-contact. They don't touch each other. But there is a force just like this. Ah, what do you call this one? Can you still remember? These objects are metals and they can attract or they can repulse metals. Starts with letter M. Okay, a nudge magnetic. Uh huh. The, the, the simple word. Oh, from yeah, it's a magnetic force. Correct, Anod. But what is the name of this thing? From room 139, magnets. Magnets, you yes. are correct. Ah, here, here, in this one, what force is being shown in this? People from Russia, Canada, Panama, Cuba, Antarctica, Thailand, Japan, they are standing towards the middle, the center of the earth. Because of what force? Can you still remember? Uh, again, from room one, number 39, magnetic force. This, yes. This is magnetic force. We are now in picture number two. Not Nari, gravity. Gravity or gravitational not force. force. Not Nari, room one, number 12. Room one, number 12. Yes, yes I can remember. You're very participative. Uh, this third picture, what force is being shown here when you turn on the switch and the light comes out? This is a review to refresh your mind because we have a test today. Electricity. Electricity. Uh huh. It is electricity, okay. and the name of the force is electrical force. Ah, uh, this is friction. Friction is a force that opposes two objects. We have discussed already the reason why this cube arrives first at the end of the line because it has a flat surface. It is heaviest among these five things. We've learned about this. We've learned about static friction. It means something that is not moving. Like this platform and the floor. The platform is not moving and the floor is not moving. But still, there is a friction. Static, steady. It is at rest. Another example, um, maybe the base of the computer and the table. Another example, my shoes in the platform when I don't move. There is a friction. If there is none, then I might slide and might fell on the floor. Now, this is static friction. You know already about this. 
meant is a kinetic or kinetic friction. This friction is between objects that are moving. Again, this is not a water. This is a plasma, billiard, or snooker table. So there is a friction between the balls and the table because they are moving. Nah? And this friction makes the ball to stop at a certain time. 3, 2, 1 seconds or 50 milliseconds. We will learn about this. And friction are important in our everyday life. We can walk, run, jump. Uh, dance, um, uh, join in a marathon because of friction. Animals too use friction. We learn about, we can hold things using friction. Without this friction, we cannot cut the paper. We cannot inject the vaccine for COVID-19. I hope it will come to Thailand very, very soon to make everybody safe. No? It can also use to hold the tissue paper when you wipe something. And a lot of things we can do because of friction. Without friction, I, I, I might not touch this screen and I might not move this to the next slide. Friction is very important. Friction helps to make fire. This is a match and it can use to make a fire. Used for cooking, used for heating in a camping. Because of friction, vehicles can move on the road. If there is no friction or if the friction is less, there is an A, C. C. What is the word? When the friction of between the wheels and the road is less, then people driving the car might accident from accident. Not Marie again. Not Marie again <laughs> is correct. We might we might meet some accident. Excellent. Friction is also used in writing a pen and a paper. And another one, friction also in the use in the brakes of of a, uh, what is this, motorcycle, bicycle, trucks, and even simple cars. And we've learned about simple machine. This is a screw. It needs to be rotated so you can fix two things together. Maybe a wood in a wood or a metal in a metal. This is pressure. Pressure is hydraulic pressure, water pressure. This is pulley. Pulley, it makes you to carry load that is heavier become less heavy because of this. We can find this in the fitness, we can find in the flagpole, but I think our flagpole is already using electricity, high, high technology. We can also <laughs> see this in some construction sites or those are making making buildings, hospitals, and many others. I even pulley. Next, please, this is wheel and axle. Uh, this is the wheel and the axle that holds the wheel in position. Wheel and axle. We learn sound waves. That's correct. Another example, this is buoyancy. The ability of a thing to float in the water. This is a wedge. It has a very sharp end and used to cut something. Knife, um, scissors, blades, and many other things. Axe like this. Wedge. Then we have inclined plane used to push or used to carry transfer one thing to from one level to another level easily. We can use like this also in the hospitals, in the malls, airports, and seesaw is also a lever. Has, seesaw has a lever, and this is of course a torque. We have only two minutes for the review. Pressure has was uh, introduced by Blaise Pascal. It's about hydraulic pressure. If it has more weight, and then the pressure is more as well. We learned that pressure can be used in doing everyday th activities. If the force increases, then the pressure also increases. Like this, like this. There is a pressure, pressure in cutting something. Hydrostatic pressure. Hydro means water. So this is the pressure that we can see in this container. If the water is less, the pressure is not that much. If the pressure, the water is more, and then the pressure is going to be like more. This is a pressure that we can find under the water because here the ocean, the pressure under the ocean is very high. So what is the answer again here? Divers. These are the divers. They wear a special suit for protection. 
Okay, we are saving time for the test. These are water dams. For those who are not able to watch our live number two, it is thicker at the base because the pressure is higher. Buoyancy, floating, sinking, balls, plastics, balloons, and shuttlecock can float, whereas glass, uh, bowling balls, coins, rocks can sink. Okay, we've learned already about this. Torque is the movement, rotating movement, driving, uh, opening the door, opening a jam of pickles or mayonnaise or anything. You have to do rotation. Then sound wave is an energy. Can travel only in solid, liquid, and gas, but not in a vacuum here at the middle. And we have six simple machines we learn already about inclined plane, wedge, screw, lever, pulley, wheel, and axle. Yes. Okay, that is the end of the review. We shall save our time in answering our test. Please get your mobile phone now and be ready to... Uh, sorry. And be ready to scan the QR code for our Google Form exam. Ah, I'll give you two minutes to scan, please. Or you can open using the link. For those who cannot scan, you can open using the link presented. Today's test is 30 points. Listening 10, reading 10, writing also 10. For those who cannot do this within this time, don't worry, teacher will not close this. I will close this after one week. Miss A, Miss Amunlat said she will be asking me the names of the students who cannot do this work so she can do follow up next time or next days. Please send thumbs up if you are done scanning the QR code. Can be seen there. The title is Unit Test Force in Motion. Okay. Have you sent the link already, Teacher Joe? Yes. Okay, let us proceed. For the listening test, uh, before we proceed, please don't forget to write your full name. Not only your nickname or even only your first name is fine, but not nickname, not ball, not boss, not first, not funky. If your name is Tirapat, just write Tirapat is okay with me. Next, here, please type in M2 slash blank. Please do not forget this, this format. M2 slash blank, number, full stop, and blank. Okay. Okay, next, our listening test has two parts. Part one, true or false. Part two, multiple choice. Five points and five points. Okay. Everyone is ready. Is there any difficulty? Are there questions, Teacher Joe? Uh, the link cannot be seen here. The link cannot be seen. Mm. Uh, see, never mind. It's okay. They would like to see the, Can you get the, the QR code once again. Yes, sir. They, was, they would like to see the QR code once again. Uh, QR code once again. I'll give you one minute. One minute. Okay, everyone is ready? Yes. Because we need to start the test at, all together. I mean at the same time. Because my questions are found in PPT, PowerPoint format. Let's start. I will be playing the sound 
three times but if there is a need for me to play once again just type in your comment okay question number one true or false one, a force can change the shape and size of an object. True or false? Question number one. One, a force can change the shape and size of an object. Can you hear the question? I mean the statement. Last one. One, a force can change the shape and size of an object. A force can change the shape and the size of an object. Let's proceed. 1. A force can change the shape and size of an object. Yes. Number 2. 2. Friction is a non-contact force. Again, number 2. 2. Friction is a non-contact force. Again, number 2. 2. Friction is a non-contact force. Friction is a non-contact force. Yes. Two. Friction is a non-contact force. Okay. Friction is a non-contact force. True or Two. false? Friction is a non-contact force. Next. Number three. Three. A complex machine has many parts. Number three. Three. A complex machine has many parts. A complex machine has many parts. Last one. Three. A complex machine has many parts. Okay. True or false? Next, okay. number four. Four. Torque refers to the turning effect of a force. Again. Four. Torque refers to the turning effect of a force. Torque refers to the turning effect of a force. Last one. Four. Torque refers to the turning effect of a force. Okay. Four. Torque. Number five. Ready? Number five, this is the last item for true or false. Five. Sound waves move through air because of vibrations. Again, number five. Five. Sound waves move through air because of vibrations. Sound waves move through air because of vibrations. Last one. Five. Sound waves move through air because of vibrations. Okay, excellent five. job. Proceed to 6 to 10. 6 to 10 is a multiple choice. There are four options. Choose only one. Only one. Number 6. 6. This is the ability of an object to float in a liquid. Number 6. 6. This is the ability of an object to float in a liquid. This is the ability of an object to float in a liquid. Last one. 6. This is the ability of an object to float in a liquid. To float in a liquid. 6. Number 7. 7. A non-contact force that is found at the center of the earth. Number 7. 7. A non-contact force that is found at the center of the earth. A non-contact force that is found at the center of the earth. Last one. 7. A non-contact force that is found at the center of the earth. Okay, excellent Seven. job. Number 8. 8. A force that acts between surfaces that are in contact and at rest. Number eight. A force that acts between surfaces that are in contact and at rest. A force that acts between surfaces that are in contact and at rest. It means they're not moving. Last one. Eight. A force that acts between surfaces that are in contact and at rest. Okay. Eight. Excellent job. Number nine. Nine. These are objects that narrow to form a thin and sharp edge. Nine. These are objects that narrow to form a thin and sharp edge. These are objects that narrows to form a thin sharp of edge. It is used for cutting. Example, scissors, knives, and many others. No. These are objects that narrow to form a thin of sharp edge. Okay. And last number, number 10. 10. 
Sound waves can travel in solids, liquids and gases except in A, blank. Number 10. 10. Sound waves can travel in solids, liquids and gases except in A, blank. Sound waves can travel in solids, liquids and gases except in a blank. Last time. 10. Sound waves can travel in solids, liquids and gases except in A, blank. Okay, before we proceed to reading test, do you have some items that you want me to play once again? I'll give you one minute. Are there comments that you would like to play one more question? Are there comments, Teacher Joe? Uh, Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, that's the end of our listening test. We shall proceed now to our reading test. Ah, no, sorry. Uh, yes, it's a reading test. A reading test is composed of 10 items. 11 to 15 is a multiple choice. There are four options. And 16 to 20 is a reading comprehension. You have to read uh, a topic or a text that is about gravity. Okay, number 11. A force cannot change the blank of an object. Okay, proceed number 12. Take only one answer. You cannot proceed to the next question when, when you skip one answer from the 30 items. Master, are there questions? No. No questions. Okay, they're focusing on answering. Excellent job, M2. Okay, next please. Question number 13. The friction of an object is in the blank direction as in the motion. Example, the moving uh, football. The friction is in what direction? Opposite, perpendicular, same direction, or none of this? Okay, finished. Question number 14. To reduce means to lessen, to lessen, to tone it down, the pressure. To lessen or to reduce, to make it less, it's the, that's the meaning of the word reduce. To reduce the pressure in a surface, what should be done? Okay, question number 15. Question number 15. Which of these is not true about sound? Which of these is not true about sound? Okay, that's the end of part 11 to 15. The next part is a little bit hard. It's a reading comprehension. This is a reading test. And so you need to read this text about gravity. So to help you, it, it would be better to read the question first and remember those questions. And after reading all the questions, you may go back to the text and try to read and find the answers. For this test, I am giving you seven minutes to finish the test.
if you have question, please type in. Master is helping me to to read those comments. If you have some problems, we can adjust. This text is about gravitational force or the gravity. There are three paragraphs, but the concept, the contents are just easy to understand. It's about falling of the ball. Okay, you have four minutes. You can read the questions first, so it would be easier for you to find the answers. There are five questions for this activity. If you have questions, please type in. Okay, I will not be talking, so you can focus on reading. Three minutes. Two minutes, and then we can proceed to writing test. This is a recorded test, listening, reading, and writing, plus your speaking, S1. Speaking are those participation during the live. Okay, one minute left. Last one minute. If you have question, please type in. So master can tell me what to do. Okay, time is up for reading test. Now we will proceed to writing test.
of course, in writing tests, you have to write, you are going to write sentences, and the there uh, for this test there will be ten points, ten, ten, and ten. For this type of test, you are going to write two sentences about the picture and also about the concept or the topic presented. Example number twenty one and twenty two. I gave two words, the given words inside the parentheses. We have a good sound and a bad sound. You are going to write down your answer using these words to make a sentence. The words can be found at the start of the sentence, can be at the middle of the sentence, or it can be at the last part of a sentence. It should be a complete sentence. Short sentence or phrases will only get a half score. 0.5 as what you usually get when we have a test inside the classroom. Complete answer. Do not forget the concept of your sentence must be about sound, must be about this picture. Every picture, I will give you two minutes. Okay, let's start. Picture number one. Questions 21 and 22. Please write your answer here. Label 21. Good sound. Then, write down your sentence. The word can be found at the start, middle, or any part of the sentence. And number 22, please write bad sound. Number 22, bad sound. Good concept, good sentence, complete sentence will get a full score. Master, are there questions from the students? Okay. Okay, they understood. Okay, very good. Room two, uh, room two, Matthew two. Uh, there is a question. Okay. Write one sentence or two sentences. One sentence uh, for example, this 21 to 22. Number 21 is a good sound. A good sound is very blah, 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 finish. Number 22, bad sound. Bad sound or when I turn on the radio and I turn on the volume, on the last hit, the bad sound will disturb me and I cannot sleep. Something like this. So there are two words means one for number 21 and one for number 22. Okay? Just one sentence per word. One point and one point. Make sure of the spelling, wrong spelling would also get a wrong or a half score for that. Okay, time up for picture number one. Let's proceed to picture number two. Okay, this is number 23 and 24. Number 23, the word is shoes. This one. And number 24, the word is friction. This is a ground or a road or you can say a running track or you can say a mountainside, concrete road or anything. Number 23, use the word shoes in a sentence. You cannot write the shoes is beautiful. No, no. The concept should be about the topic. You cannot write the shoes as a size of, um, what do you think, the size 10. You cannot say, I like the shoes. Yeah, it's correct, but this is science class. You write, a con you write a sentence about a concept. Friction. It's for number 24. If you have a question, please type in the question. This is now for the writing test. Okay, four minutes left. Uh, quickly, we can move to picture number three. Ah, uh, huh? Ah, sexual gun. Oh, okay. Please check your attendance in the Google form. Okay. Ah, uh, explain everything first. Number twenty-five. Simple machines. Make a sentence. This is a bump car. Bump car. B U M P. Bump car. And complex machines. Complex machines for number twenty-six. Okay. Write your answer down under the picture. Papa, twenty-seven to twenty-eight. Push and pull. Easy. Push, pull. Come closer to you. Make a sentence. The push 
and pull. Your sentence should be about the push and pull. If not about this one, you can have an example at home. Not really about this picture. These are just example. And the last one, float and sink. Float is they are found on top of the water and sink means they are found under the water at the bottom of the container. Same number 29, write a sentence using the word float and 30 using the word sink. And after that, submit. Okay? Okay. At this point, uh, Miss Mayuri will send the link for your Google attendance. Uh, check the name. Make sure to sign or check your name. So your attendance for this class will be recorded. Let us check how many responses are there. Ah, there are 27. Okay. Okay, students, please check your name in the link sent by Miss and Master before the end of this live. We only have two minutes left. Uh, please check your name, your attendance record to check your presence during this period. I've got 37. Uh, as you can see, you can always see 20 points because Teacher Sam will check your writing test and it will be added to the total of 20 to make 30. 30 students have finished. 31. We have last one minute. Okay, are you not finished? Kitty Pete, Napat, Punya Pat, Tiradon, Finish, Paksaran, Halilak, Kulakit, Piladon, Lashapon, and Bishakon. They're finished. Oh, I will not be showing you my change. 34. Uh, two minutes left. For those who can't finish before the end of this live, you can still continue answering. Nah? I will not close this question for one week. But if you have time today, please send today. One minute. Okay, Rachapon is done. Hibari, Hibari. Do I have a student Hibari? I don't have. <laughs> Please check your name. If uh, I know Shinawat Kolakan, I know Kolathat, I know Hibari. New student miss or no? Who is Hibari? Hibali. Uh, please check your name, use your real name, not nickname. Okay, time is up. It's already 12 and we have to end this live. Uh, this is the end of our activity for today. I would like to see you again next week. If we still have live next week for the last topic about gravity and electricity. And then I would like to see you again next time and participate for S number one. Okay, bye-bye everyone and have a great day. Thank you so much.